With the birthday anniversary of Fred Ho in our midst, we have Quirky Lee here to help us remember the legacy of Fred Ho. Fred Ho was a composer who created Afro-Asian multicultural jazz music. Not only was he a composer, but an Asian-American activist, band leader, playwright, book writer, and a friend. What would you say is the biggest legacy that he left behind for the Asian American community? Fred lived for his, uh, his, uh, his music, his message. But uh, I think his music and uh, what his music stands for, you know, will, will stand the test of time. So what was special about Fred Ho's music? You either like his music because it's uh, unorthodox, or you may not understand it. But then if you understand where he's coming from in terms of uh, uh, African American history, you know, Chinese and Asian American history, and, and culture, okay, uh, you have a, uh, a much better understanding. You go, whoa, you know, how come I didn't know about this guy you know, previously? Many of his musical creations brought together Asian and African forms of music, but he also went beyond the music. Can you tell us more about how he was able to mix the two cultures, the Asian culture and the African-American culture? He infused a lot of African-American um, designs as well as you know, Chinese or Asian designs uh, in, in his clothing. Uh, and in one sense, uh, you would have to call him a cross-dresser. But uh, of course, you know, when you use that term now, cross-dressing means something else. Tell us a little more about his personality. Um, what type of person was Fred Ho? He utilized a lot of his uh, life um, experiences. And uh, one, in one case, uh, he and I were partnered together with a group of other people, mm -hmm. and we did uh, a, uh, a performance which uh, talked about uh, the Chinese experience in America. It was uh, someone who was uh, politically charged, and I think that he utilized his music to advance his uh, political agenda. In 2006, Ho was diagnosed with colon cancer, but that did not slow him down. How did Fred Ho cope with having cancer? He uh, conjured up, um, you know, uh, an energy within himself, a chi, an energy, <clears throat> to um, basically uh, do what he uh, had set out to do. I think when he was diagnosed with cancer, he was uh, pretty depressed and uh, he had contemplated suicide a few times, all right, about two or three times, if I recall. And, and he basically said, no, I'm not gonna let, let it uh, get the better of me. This cancer was a gift to me. Even though despite the physical losses, I was gifted with tremendous philosophical and creative gains. After battling cancer, Fred Ho left us with music that we can all enjoy. Thank you for watching Remembering Fred Ho with Michelle A. Jackson reporting for Sinovision.